sorry it took so long to get this video out to you, but finally got a chance to do it, and I know it's been weeks, but here's the dyno video. I know a lot of you are really, really wanting to see what it did on 20 pounds, but unfortunately, I had a boost controller issue, and I could not get it to go above 18 no matter what we did. So we could only dyno it on 18, but I do have those numbers for you, and I'm going to show you what it did. Here we go. I am now filming for him. good I did. that sounded like some power maybe a thousand 978 holy shit what are you at right now 18 pounds 18 pounds check them out guys right there just uh 978 instagram nine seventy eight and eight ninety nine that's pretty impressive for 18 pounds. But he made 978, guys. 978 on uh, 18 pounds. Yeah, you did have a big puff of uh, spark knob. It's kind of This car is so insanely impressive. I know I'm kind of like taking over his video, taking over his vlog here. But um, this car is insane. It almost just made a thousand on 18 pounds of boost. Really impressive. Sorry to disappoint guys, but it didn't break a thousand wheel. It was close, but I'm pretty sure on 20 it would have. Hopefully soon we can get a dyno on 20 or 22 pounds. Tuner says we should be good to that, so that should be coming anytime soon. Unfortunately, for the ones that follow me on Instagram, you already know. I took the car to the track last weekend, Friday, and when the car was under an actual load, the boost controller let it go to 22 pounds under the same settings that on the dyno it would only go to 18 pounds on. Well, the car didn't like the 22 pound run. I'll just put it that way, but I do have that video as well, and I'm going to try to get out to you guys a lot faster than it took me to get this video out. But I did have to take the car to Texas, and it is at LPF right now getting it fixed and some stuff, other stuff done, hopefully. So the next call out may be interesting because it's still gonna be on the 19s, it's still gonna look stock, and it's still gonna be on stock suspension, but it may have a couple upgraded things and it may or may not have 300 more wheel. You'll have to wait and find out. But that is gonna be October 20th, I do believe. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on that as well. But yeah, so here is some runs also. When I was up there after the dyno, we went to the track the next day and met some cool people. After the track, we ended up going to Mexico, of course, for some runs that night. I got to run a Fox body from a dig in the street, and I was not sure how that was going to go because my car usually doesn't hook that good in the street, but their spot's kind of sticky. And shockingly, even with the Fox body pulling the front tire off the ground on launch, I was able to stick with him. When the car hit second, obviously it's not as sticky out there, and it did blow the tires off, but it was able to come back around him once it hooked. Also got to run a bike that had a header, a tune, and I'm pretty sure he had sprockets, but I'm not 100% um, from a roll, and that was fun. Uh, if you watch the video, he kind of shoots flames when he shifts, and that's dope. But uh, still trying to get all this going under wraps, and still trying to get the hang of editing and all that, but I will be getting more videos of you guys as soon as I can. Just bear with me, and it's probably going to be a month or so before the car is back, unfortunately. He's really backed up, and he's the only one there working. But... Uh, Check him out if you need to, Justin at LPF. He's been very good to me and helped me so much. And hopefully my car will be badass when it gets back.
Clara. 